Hello to all pharmacy, medical, paramedical, life science graduates and dear career aspirants. Welcome to Clinisol YouTube learning channel. To learn no more informative topics from us and for notifications on upcoming posts, please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the bell icon. What can you learn here? You can learn about Clinisol's live events, courses, career, scope opportunities and many innovative programs by Clinisol Student Forum. In today's video, we are going to discuss about pharmacovigilance. Before we get into career aspects, let's get an overview about our topic. Pharmacovigilance is the practice of monitoring the effects of medical drugs after they have been licensed for use, especially in order to identify and evaluate previously unreported adverse reaction. The role of pharmacovigilance in healthcare system is to assess monitor and discover interaction among drugs and their effects in human. Steps in pharmacovigilance include safety data management, signal detection for any altered safety issue, signal evaluation and making decision with regard to safety issues, actions that includes regulatory to protect public health and informing all concerned parties or stakeholders. Steps in safety data management are data collection and verification, Coding of adverse drug reaction, description, coding of drugs, case, causality assessment, timely reporting to authorities. Now let's get through the topics we will be discussing. Scope, eligibility, job opportunities, skills required, latest trends in pharmacovigilance, advances in the field of pharmacovigilance, companies hiring. What is pharmacovigilance? The etymological roots for the word pharmacovigilance are pharmacon that is medical substance, which layer to keep watch. As per who, pharmacovigilance is defined as the science and activities relating to detection, assessment, understanding and prevention of adverse effects or any other drug related problems. Coming to benefits of pharmacovigilance. It includes continuous monitoring of adverse drug reactions, reassessing and updating benefit or risk profile through periodic safety update reviews to improve patient care and safety relation to the use of medicines and all medical and paramedical interventions to contribute in assessing all benefit risk and effectiveness of medicine and encourage their safety, rational and effective use to promote understanding, education and clinical training in PV and its effective communication to the public. Eligibility criteria for pharmacovigilance is pharmacists, nursing, Ayurveda, homeopathic, dental, physiotherapy and life science graduates because they have an idea about pharmacology. Skills require special knowledge in the subjects of pharmacovigilance and pharmacotherapy as these subjects are helpful to deal with drug safety. They should know what is a drug, how it is acting, which system attacks for what indication it is working. For example, a drug for headache is working only on CNS or any other system that can cause an adverse drug reaction. And skills like basic competence with medical and therapeutic terminology, ability to work independently but guided by documented procedures with appropriate support, to understand patient safety and regulatory obligations and should be familiar with pharmacovigilance terminology. He should have an idea about computer literature and have communication skills. He should require a proactive approach and excellent written or oral communication. Strong interpersonal skills is required to interact with clients, management and peers respectively. Job opportunities in pharmacovigilance include MICC specialist that is medical information call center specialist, drug safety associate with the one to four years of experience, drug safety physician with zero to four years of experience, medical degree holder are also eligible for this. Junior data analyst from one to four years of experience, senior data analyst one to three experience, safety analyst with one to two years of experience, Safety report writer, one to two years of experience. Quality assurance analyst with one to four years of experience. Now, latest trends in pharmacovigilance includes 
contract outsourcing to drive operational efficiency, secondary data resources that contribute to widespread end reporting, cloud-based reporting to bring a robust global database of adverse drug reactions, big data to predict and assimilate huge amount of information, data analytics to mine insights, automation for non-value adding tasks in the pharmacovigilance outsourcing process, artificial intelligence to turn PV into a predictive science. Now let's get started with the fields of pharmacovigilance, medical information retrieval, case processing, aggregate reporting, signal detection and risk management. MICC Medical Information Call Center is not a regular call center job. It requires knowledge and people in life sciences and pharmacist or health care professional background because only they have knowledge on medical information. For example, if a consumer takes a drug product, they ask the manufacturer authority holder about the particular drug. The MAH is one which the product belongs to. We know his contact by usually seeing the drug label. MICC is the one who answers the queries and also provides the information if it is related to drug safety. It is forwarded to ICSR or to proper team so next assessment regarding safety aspects can be done. It is now one of the area having great future for this. You need to have good communication skills. So medical information call center responsibilities hold to attend calls from people requiring medical care or who have taken sponsors medication in a trial or post marketing exposure to the drug and provide information as needed. Providing call handling training to the newly hired resources. Training on standard operating protocols and workflow instructions to the newly hired resources or understanding the requirements of callers and provide precise information. Provide quality control support for the MICC thorough understanding on the use of FAQs. Complete case entry including case narrative writing, coding from the MED DRA dictionary and WHO drug dictionary as per applicable standard operating protocols and client requirements. Manage product specific inquiries or medical inquiries, product complaints, adverse events or serious adverse events calls, legal complaints, call processing per SPG, SOPs and other related guidelines. Respond to web-based and written inquiries from healthcare professional members and consumers concerning the safety and effective use of all products market in a timely manner. To identify and retrieve relevant data information appropriate to answer the information requested, identify clinically relevant information and preparation to follow up request as needed. To receive, review and process drug safety information based on regulations and conventions. Individual case safety report captures information needed to support reporting of adverse event, product problems and consumer complaints associated with the use of FDA regulated products. They also have vast openings and India is one of the main center for ICSR. It includes literature search and literature review. All the regulators have asked the companies to monitor the literatures for safety of drugs. One way is through MICC. The other way is through monitoring safety assessment literature review. Publishing of articles in good journals will help us with literature knowledge. So we need to know have literature knowledge like what will be in literatures, what we will write in literature, what will be the discussion part or in the tabular column or result section. We get a lot of source in ICSR like you will do the data basic of the safety report. As we know, we get a lot of resources. We need to document them. That is called safety reporting. Like from MICC, we get spontaneous reporting from clinical trial. We get clinical trial reports from literature monitoring as well, we will get safety reporting. What exactly we do in ICSR is labeling assessment. It is to evaluate the drug and event related or not. That is called causal relationship wherever it is already listed. We try to know whether it was already listed or not. We need to assess the risk 
and benefits of the drug and if it is contraindicated in certain groups of patient and for certain indications there is a lot of vast study need to be done and you have number of openings we can have a great future if we well trained and we are well versed for example you'll start by assessing the data and entering in the right professional format then you can be promoted to be a quality reviewer and you will do initial reviewing and send to the next level that is a medical reviewer then this will be reported to various regulators on various channeling depending upon the reporting criteria and now coming to aggregate reporting and signal detection i'll tell you about the rules together signal detection companies are now directly recruiting freshers for signal detection and aggregate reporting if you have good writing skills you need to publish good literatures and with thorough therapeutic knowledge because in this you will assess drug safety evaluate benefit and risk of drug there's a lot of data you need to incorporate so you need to have writing skills and thorough knowledge in therapeutics the growth across the pv is immense so aggregate reporting is to provide a concise summary of safety information and evaluation of the benefit risk profile of the medicinal product to identify safety information that would inquire or require further investigation of the product changes to the medicinal product label aggregate safety reporting plays important role in safety assessment of medicinal product the exact type of report required varies by countries and regulatory authorities signal detection and its assessment is the most important aspect in pv which plays a key role in ensuring that the patient receives safe drugs since clinical trials provides limited information as they are conducted under strictly controlled conditions it helps to detect adverse drug reaction it helps to detect unknown and unexpected safety signals as early as possible because post marketing data is one of the major challenges of pharmacovigilance top crs hiring for pharmacovigilance process equia covans paraxel psi medpace clintech icon kcr ppd pra health sciences you can contact us or write a mail to us on the following What makes Clinisol the best training institute? Highly skilled, certified and dedicated faculty with over 15 plus years of industry experience in various areas of clinical research and healthcare. Updated course content with practical learning, approaches making the learning filled with fun and a great experience of learning and memorizing things with practical implementation of the subject learned during the sessions. Vast number of courses to choose from and to have a multi domain course combination which is tailor made to cope up with the industry competencies affordable fee structure with quality learning regular weekly assessment to test oneself whether they are standing at their skill levels complimentary courses to give overall 360 degree completeness to a perfect job seekers profile interactive online sessions to cut down the traveling time and additional expenses and give a choice of taking classes at different timings based on the personal availability one year course validation enhances the students to make the multiple session of the same topic for the absenteeism coverage and better understanding of the topics round the clock support by the fac- faculty and counseling provides additional confidence building and encouragement to participate in different events designed gives calculated readiness for interviews strict implementation of learning strategies via verbal written and expressive means through article blog magazine columns presentation designing various quizzes brain and teasers etc makes the learning process so enjoyable as well as brings out the fear and lack of self confidence writing your ideas blogs columns and really easy with the guidance of clinisol's faculty and can be posted absolutely free on the student's own name in cns chronicle clinisol's blog spot a free space to write your thoughts about an innovative technical topic clinisol's dedicated job groups provides all the updated career information along with the internship opportunities to gain the real world working exposure during in-house training 
द बेस्ट वे टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड डील वाइजली विद द अपकमिंग वर्क चैलेंजेस एवरी लाइव इवेंट ऑफ क्लिनिसॉल विल प्रोवाइड एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू इंटरेक्ट विद द इंडस्ट्री एक्सपर्ट्स फ्रॉम अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड इन फार्मा आई टी एंड हेल्थ केयर एंड लर्न फ्रॉम देयर एक्सपीरियंसिस एंड एक्सपर्टाइज एडवाइस ऑन हाउ टू बिल्ड अ बेटर कारियर Thank you for your attention. Please write your genuine queries in comment section and send us. Our team will get back to you soon. Thank you.